Before we start the video, massive favour from you guys, 80% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed and it would be a massive help to me if you could hit that sub button and that like button, I would really, really appreciate it and as well, YouTube's actually been unsubscribing people from a lot of channels including mine so again, make sure you check to make sure you're still subscribed, it would be very much appreciated but let's get into it. So we've only got one week now to wait until the official reveal for the next set of free PlayStation Plus games. This month has flew by, it is ridiculous. We've had so many free games, we've been spoiled for choice, and it just feels amazing. Now, we've got quite a few things to talk about this week. We've got a rumour for a game that actually went free on PlayStation Plus last month for Asia, which is supposed to be coming to the rest of the world this month. We've got a load of other stuff as well, but as usual, before we get into it, if you guys are looking to renew your PlayStation Plus memberships, if you're looking to get PSN credit on the cheap, or just pre-order games at a decent discounted price, make sure you check out the sponsor, Instant Game. I mean, there's a link in the description that will give you a bit more of a discount as well. Everything on their site is usually like 20% off and it is definitely, definitely worth checking out. Now, let's get into it. First things first, new games. Unfortunately, again this week, we didn't get to do the drop. There is quite a few games out this week, but personally, nothing that I'm interested in checking out. But there is one game that's kind of stood out that I know a lot of people are interested in, and it's MLB The Show. The new game comes out this week, and I'll be honest, I'm not a baseball fan, but I do appreciate the sport. When it comes to sports games, there's not that many of them that I play apart from like party style games. When it comes to proper sports games, it's not something that I really play that much. But I'll be honest, it looks pretty cool, the graphics of it look decent as well. The fact that a lot of people are hyped for this game, I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are going to love it. It's the only one that's kind of out this week that I think a lot of people are going to be hyped for. Uh, but again, personally, I'm not a baseball fan, so it's not something that I'm going to be checking out but curious to see what you guys think mlb the show are you picking it up or is it something that you're going to be skipping over but anyway on to the rumors the main stuff that you guys kind of watch for now if you follow all the news for ps plus all over the world and not just kind of your local region you'll know that lego worlds actually went free in asia for april but it didn't go free for the rest of the world now this has happened quite a few times and it's usually because the rights couldn't get sorted but it's actually rumored that lego world is going to be coming for free in may for USA and Europe. Now, LEGO Worlds, if you haven't played it, it's the typical LEGO style game, apart from with the difference by the fact there isn't like a main kind of world for it as such. So if you think of like Jurassic World or the Avengers, where everything's kind of just set in one world, LEGO Worlds, you'll start off on like one biome. So you could be in like Candyland as such. You'll do a few little missions in there to get the gold bricks. And you have to fix up your spaceship to move on to another world. And every single world is completely different. It's pretty cool, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I know that you can go in a creative mode, you can do a load of building and stuff. I expected it to literally be just like Minecraft, but Lego. And when it weren't, I was a little bit disappointed. I think it's just because the way that I took it when I heard the game was getting released. But either way, Lego World is a pretty cool game. It's one of them that you can't really get bored of it as such, because once you've kind of got bored of one world... And it's like, right, I don't know what to do now. You get in your ship, you move on to another world, and everything's completely different. I think the first one that you start off on is like a pirate land or something. It is pretty cool, and it's definitely worth a play. And the fact that it's already been free on PlayStation Plus for other parts of the world, it's not a massive leap that the rumour could be true to be coming to the rest of the world in May. Again, though, curious to see what you guys think. Bonus content. Now, it's always nice to get something for free, whether or not it's through PlayStation Plus or a different service. Now, this one's actually through Twitch Prime. Now, don't worry if you haven't got an active membership. There's a link down below that'll give you a 30-day free trial, so you can claim this as well as a load of other free stuff, including free games as well. Yes, not just content, free games as well. Now, this week, the free stuff that I'm looking at personally is for GTA. Now, if you've got PS Plus, you'll know you get free money on GTA anyway every month, but you also get free money through Twitch Prime as well. So if you do both, you are absolutely loaded. But you can also get yourself some other stuff as well. Um, the Kasatka, I'm sure I just butchered that name, submarine sonar station, and you get a million every month. It's definitely worth checking out. Again, though, if you haven't got an active membership, you're going to get yourself a load of free stuff. Now, the fact that the next-gen version of this game is coming out towards the end of the year, it's definitely worth kind of stocking up on all the money, because I'm sure when the new version comes out, everything's going to get updated and there's going to be a load of stuff. It's definitely worth checking out. There is a load of other content for a load of other games, so make sure you have a proper look through it. What am I playing? Now, you guys always ask whether or not it's on Twitter or in the comments, what am I playing at the minute? And I'll be honest, this week I've started just jumping back on RuneScape. Yes, it's a PC game. And the reason behind it is simply there's been new bosses being added. If you're not a RuneScape fan, 
Um, fair enough. If you don't know what RuneScape is, it's a massive MMO RPG where literally you have to craft every single thing that you need. So if you want a weapon, you can either try and get to the point where the, the mobs that you're killing are going to drop it, or you can literally go and gather all the materials, whether or not it's wood, bowstring, metal, anything that you need to craft it to get the weapons that you need. It's a really cool game, but the new bosses that are being added are like three massive dinosaurs, and you can kind of go through one, then the next, then the next, or you can just literally stick to one. It's pretty cool new content. If you've played RuneScape before, I'd definitely say jump back on it if you've not played it in a while. The new content that's on there is a really decent moneymaker, and I love the game anyway, and it's always nice to find new stuff being added, so there's just new reasons to jump onto the game and get addicted again. On to my predictions, though. Two games that I'm going to go for, two quite similar games, in all honesty, and usually I go for two completely different styles, but... I thought I'm going to go for these because I think they both make really cool PlayStation Plus titles. First off, Black Desert. Now, Black Desert is an alright game. I've played it a little bit. You can actually play a free version of Black Desert on mobile, which, funny enough, it literally plays pretty much the same. But it's an MMO RPG game, pretty much. And the, the one thing that I do like about this game is the fact that if you've got like a quest or an area that you need to go to, you can literally press one button and it'll kind of auto walk you there, which is always nice because in a lot of these games, you end up doing a lot of traveling to get to something. So if you can literally look away and like balance your controller so your button's pressed it, so it just kind of goes there for you. It's really nice and it's a really cool game. The graphics on it aren't the best. And I'll admit the player base isn't absolutely huge at the moment, but it's still a really fun game. Um, and the second one that I'm going to go for is The Elder Scrolls Online. Now, this game has been out for quite a long time. Um, it's constantly getting updated, and the base game for it, everyone that's played it's kind of gone past it, and it's just literally all the DLC and add-ons now. But again, Elder Scrolls is a massive RPG game. And the first one in the series that I ever played were back on PS3 when I played Skyrim. And the only thing that I didn't like about that game is the fact that it wasn't online. So the fact that on next-gen consoles you can play the same game online and play it with your friends, run missions together and stuff, is really, really cool. Elder Scrolls is a really cool game. It's not one that I play a lot myself. It's one that I have played and I enjoyed it when I did. But it's one of them games that you seem to have to put a lot of time into. And for me personally, there's that many games that I play on. I just feel like I don't have enough time to invest to fully appreciate Elder Scrolls Online. But either way, I think it would make a really, really good PlayStation Plus title. Now, any of the games that I have mentioned today, if you're looking for new people to play with, make sure you jump on the Discord. It's a really cool community. When it comes to free PlayStation Plus titles, if it's multiplayer and you don't want to play on your own, literally you can squad up and find people to play with. Really, really decent community. Make sure you check it out. But that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.